Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another FNAF News video, and oh boy, we've got a juicy one for you guys today. First and foremost, happy one year anniversary to FNAF Security Breach, it's crazy how fast one year went by. Now, I'm not entirely sure if we're going to be getting anything for the anniversary, I'd assume if we were, it's just going to be some artwork by Steel Wool, which may seem disappointing, but don't forget, we also have Daco's charity stream coming up pretty soon this Saturday. And usually Steel Wool is involved with Daco's stream, so who knows, maybe they have a few ruined teasers to, to spread about like they did with the security breach ones. But I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. But now, let's talk about some news that we know 100% is confirmed. That is brand new products from U2s, some castings for the upcoming FNAF film, and a brand new description for another upcoming Tales from the Pizzaplex book. So if you are excited, don't forget to hit the like button. If you're brand new, subscribe, we're trying to get 50k. Let's kick this video off the only way we know how it's this point talking about some brand new hot topic shirts the first one we've got here is called the always watching tie-dye t-shirt it's got an all-over print of tie-dye and the faces of glamrock freddy sun and moon on the front i'm personally not a fan of the design i think it's a bit too all over the place but a design i do like coming from hot topic recently is this brand new hoodie it's got the main gang on the front with five nights at freddy's going around them pizza slices on one sleeve freddy fazbear's pizza on the other and now let's quickly move on to pillow pet because while we we don't have an actual update on when their Freddy Fazbear Pillow Pet is releasing, they did show it off in a brand new TikTok, getting some all over panning shots of him showing off his final design, and hopefully this guy comes out pretty soon because he looks adorable and I need him right now. Before we continue on to U2s, so let's first talk about a brand new description we got for Tales from the Pizzaplex number 6, Nexi. Can you keep a secret? Astrid doesn't tell anyone about the strange things her buddy-tronic doll has been up to. Kara convinces a Pizzaplex employee no one will know if he lets her spend a little more time in the VR attraction. And a Fazbear Entertainment Engineer's custom project has surprises in store for anyone who encounters it. But in the world of FNAF, secrets never stay hidden for long. That is the description for an upcoming Tales from the Pizzaplex book number six. That's crazy, we're already getting six confirmed books, only three have been out. But I'd love to know, what are your thoughts on the stories? How do you feel about Nexi as a character? Looks like she's gonna be the Bunnytronic doll we see in the first story. And actually, just now, Steel Wool just made a tweet talking about the anniversary for Security Breach, announcing it's the one-year anniversary of FNAF Security Breach. To thank all of you superstars, we're releasing the original soundtrack, Let's Party, and it looks like they've got a link to a Spotify album. The album contains 33 songs from Security Breach's soundtrack, so thank you so much, Steel Wool, for that. And they've even got some awesome art of Chica, Monty, Freddy, and Roxanne all around a birthday cake and Gregory handing it to them. Though I wouldn't bite into that cake just yet, Freddy. It looks like you got some unnecessary toppings there. And now I move on to yet another weekly update from Kane Carter about the Pop Go series. He says, hi everyone. This week, the team and I have mostly been preparing a new interactive build for Daco to open and share on his upcoming charity stream in about a week. But for us, that's actually tomorrow. So I'll be sharing a bit about that, but not much else. It's been a bit quiet otherwise. So what are we going to give Daco to show off? Well, I'll tell you the types of content, but none of the actual reveals, of course. And he attaches a picture of four Four different reveals we're gonna see on the stream. A new phone unlock for $4,000, new merchandise reveal for eight, a trading card surprise at $12,000, and finally for $16,000, a full 360 degree showcase of the Freddies. He says the phone is one with a unique body, and for the merch, he says, yes, we've actually had permission to officially announce and reveal a new Pop Goes product coming in 2023. Unfortunately, it's very unlikely that we'll be able to have actual photos prepared in time for this event, but I've made some mock that the company is very happy with me sharing. It'll get the idea across just fine. For the trading card surprise, Kane says, all I'll say is that you'll see Emil's amazing trading card click team shader again in this section. Lastly, something I can share more casually, a full showcase of all three Freddy models in Evergreen will be shown off at $16,000. So that means Toy Freddy, False Freddy, and his awkward middle stage. And he also attaches a photo of the Toy Freddy accuracy model, and it looks like below him you can see the three dots that we're going to use to change which version of Toy Freddy we're going to be looking at. In this Freddy showcase, you'll get a full 360 view of all three models, and Doc will also be able to click and drag the models to spin them around. Whether this is a feature that'll actually be an evergreen like in the extras or something, I have no idea. Probably not, considering how much data all of these images take up already. And now let's move right along to some brand new U2's news. First up, their brand new wave is now officially out. The new wave contains Golden Freddy, Springtrap, Purple Guy, and the Purple Guy sprite figures. They also have shoulder plushies 
of Freddy, Vanny, and the Cupcake. As for a brand new YouTube's news, however, first up, they say they're going to be working on some prints for each game, also showing off a sneak peek of the FNAF 1 print. If you're waiting on Glamrock Daco figure news, don't worry, it seems like we're going to get that on his charity stream. And he also reveals that the next wave will be launching around March of next year with Vanny version 2. And then a merchandise I was not at all expecting we would ever get, an official U2 Sun nightlight. This thing looks amazing though, of course, very strange. Seems like U2 just <laughs> goes weirder and weirder with their new FNAF products. I like it though, I think it could look interesting, though I do hope we get a moon variant, even though he's not a fan of lights, as I'm sure we all know. And I will include this message, though I'm not sure if Austin from u was just joking here, but someone asked about a teaser for the Mangle figure, Austin replying, maybe on New Year's Eve. Though guess what? We're not done with u just yet because they actually showed off the official concept art for their upcoming burn trap figure. In my opinion, I think they absolutely nailed this guy. It's got so, so, so many details on him. That just looks absolutely amazing. Can't wait to see what the figure actually looks like. And they also do confirm, once again, I believe they said it in the past, but a withered collection is coming. And finally, the news you've been waiting all video for the reason you clicked on this video in the first place, our first official look at the casting for Blumhouse's upcoming FNAF film. Because earlier today, Deadline exclusively revealed that Matthew Lillard and Josh Hutcherson have been casted in the FNAF film. They say the characters they are playing are not yet specified, and that production on the film is set to begin in February in New Orleans, which we, we did already know about. But Matthew Lillard and Josh Hutcherson are such amazing picks. You might recognize Matthew as one of the killers in the original Scream film, and also Shaggy in the live action and Scooby-Doo films, and you also probably know Josh as Peter from the Hunger Game films. So some amazing talent behind the FNAF films already. Our first two actors are absolute bangers. Now it's very difficult to assume who these guys are going to be playing. I know the most likely option right now is Michael and William Afton, though of course it's possible that they're not at all playing Michael and William. Who knows, maybe one of them could be Henry, or maybe it's a brand new character we've not heard of yet. I mean, we do have Abigail apparently showing up, which is a brand new character, so again, maybe they're going to be playing a brand new character. It's absolutely amazing to have these two wonderful actors on board. Again, huge fan of their works. And it's also great to finally get some casting news for the FNAF film, because that means progress is going great. We've got a production name, which was Bad Cupcakes. We've got a filming location, a filming date, and now casting? Oh my god, hey, the FNAF film might actually release this time. But I'd love to know what are your thoughts on the brand new castings we've got for the FNAF film? Who are you hoping to see in the FNAF movie? Are you disappointed Willem Dafoe may or may not be actually playing William Afton? All that and more I'd love to know your thoughts on in today's video. Thank you so much for watching this FNAF news, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.